ageless. Hero. One of a kind. Powerful. Showman. Amazing, intense, ancient martial art warrior. Hi, my name is Grandmaster Elton Trower, and this is my story. Create a breaking winner. Introducing Master Elton Trower. Now we go back to our ongoing men's creative breaking competition and one of the more popular competitors here, Master Elton Trower, taking the stage. Uh, Master Trower is legendary and People talk about his performances all year long. They can't wait to see him perform at the Open. So Nothing. dramatic, two. so innovative. Nothing but fingertips, and he calls his shots. He said he's going to break two, and two is what he broke. Elton Trower to begin his creative breaking competition. Always one of the more fun men to watch. Wow. Elton Trower always comes up with something new. These are two boards that, yes, those are nails facing upward. Breaking seemed to be the forte, and that's kind of where we stayed at, because that's what he liked to do. That's where he could focus his chi and his demark on, and show the techniques of that was more in the breaking techniques. He believed in showing the crowds and entertaining, he told me. But his entertainment went far beyond the, just the average person's type of uh, actor entertaining. I mean, he did some amazing things, as us breakers do, and used it in an entertaining way. He was a showman. He definitely was a showman. He, every break that he did had a setup, drew you in, what's he going to do with that? And then, you know, he always did something amazing. And, uh, and then he just performed the most amazing breaking routine I've ever seen and kind of changed the way I looked at everything. There's a lot of people that break and they just kind of go through the motions and break and then they're done. When he comes on stage, the whole crowd stops and he, he kind of takes charge of the crowd and he had that amazing or weird or whatever that would just bring the crowd to attention. And then he would go through his breaks very slowly and very methodically. It was, it was, it was very cool to watch how he controlled everything around him. It's always been uh, smash, destroy, break, power, energy. And he took that energy and brought it to a new level. Uh, he didn't smash 15 blocks, but it was different. It was, a, it was a show. It was a performance in a way I've never seen before. His chi breaks allowed people to be mystified. His kokan uh, still allowed people to say, oh my gosh, that energy that he creates. And his whole demeanor was just a, a showmanship. He brought a lot to the table. He raised the bar a lot. So he, de he was definitely someone who had those certain types of like trademark breaks. Slapping four inches of concrete. A spear handing through a board with nails in it. Breaking a concrete block about that big. His chi break coming down. Watching him stick a finger through a board. Unreal. When he did the spear hands or the poke techniques, you know, his, his fingers were so massive and they were all like the same length to poke through things. He always kind of drew you into his breaks and then when he did complete it, it was that much more amazing. A lot of times uh, before tournaments, he'd be training and he's got, I got something, I got something to show him, I got something for him. You just wait, I got something, it's something new. Uh, they're going to go crazy for this. I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? He said, I'm not going to tell you because you'll go tell somebody. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of different unique breaks. Oh my God, how the heck did he accomplish that type of uh, thought? But yeah, he did some amazing, amazing breaks and his presence was 
uh, second to none. He brought where I just remember looking at some of the other competitors and thinking, my God, we, we really got to up the game because it's going to be kind of hard to touch this. I tell you, I've never seen him cut and I've never seen him bruised. Every other competitor, as awesome as they are, they get banged up bad, but never out in travel. That was an amazing break. Wow, that thing must be four or five inches thick. Solid concrete. Chris is going to ruin his pedicure. Well, he's already smashed his manicure, might as well. He had a presence about him, and it made people stand up and take notice. And it wasn't a boisterous or a, a cocky presence. Because he brought so much charisma to uh, his breaks, so much personality to everything that he did. And some of the, a lot of the breaks he did, they were more like it made you think, like how did he do that? Uh, transferring his key through objects to break something underneath. He always brought something different that even us as established breakers going to all these events, we'd never seen before. And it really set him apart. It really set him apart as a, as a breaker and his presence as a martial artist. I mean, nobody did the breaks that he did. And the thing is that a lot of people don't realize all the breaks that everybody else does, he could have done those too. Matter of fact, he did do them, just, you know, not in the spotlight all the time or years past. But he chose to do the things that nobody else could do. The things that nobody else even understood and that some people don't even stand the difficulty with. It just put him at this tier so much higher than the rest because he could do what everybody else does and more. Double kick in the air, where he jumps up in the air and does the double kicks at the same time. Um, he could do that and he was very good at it and he could go five to six feet up in the air. The infamous door. Putting his fingers through doors. Oh my gosh, that was one of the craziest breaks I've ever seen. And I remember uh, being backstage and here, I mean, you could see all kinds of crazy materials. And here's this door sitting over in a corner. And we're like, what the hell is this door doing? This door, I saw it backstage. I hit it with my fist. It is a door. It is as solid as any door you've ever opened or seen. And then you could see on it, it said something like, I think it said five fingers of death or something. So. We went over and we're checking the door, and yeah, that thing's solid, that thing's solid for sure. So then he comes up and he's on stage and he's setting up for this. And what's he gonna do? I'm gonna put his fingers through it, through, through, through it. And he's lining his fingers up at the door. And he, he goes up to the door and you think he's just gonna punch through it and then he holds his hands open like a claw. And we're like, there's no way this guy is gonna put his hand through the door. And he took those fingers that he had and he right through the door and ripped it out. Into the men's creative competition, but going through the door I've was never, amazing. I've never seen anything like that. And he just, he put his hands directly through the door and like just tore a chunk of the door out. I've never seen anything like it before. And sure enough, he, uh, he spear handed the door. Whoever was holding it, they, they were saying how his hand came right through that door and they were just like, holy crap, couldn't believe it. So yeah, that was an amazing, amazing break. It was like a scene from The Shining, but way cooler. <laughs> oh. Oh. Amazing, <laughs> that That's is incredible. amazing. He, he was totally fine. It was like those fingers were the strongest fingers I've ever seen and he, he could do anything with them. He put his hand through a door. Even when he broke, you know, a lot of us use music to get us really riled up and pumped up. He would use calming music. He's trying to show that the yin and yang aspect of breaking, that it's not always about yang, always about hard. He was more interested in showing the aspects of, you know, the soft and hard. And what was really cool about it was the music matched that mood. He was the ultimate yin and yang. He was so soft yet so powerful. He'd be moving and it was, it was an internal Chinese-ish style of just softness and relaxed. But then, all of a sudden when he broke, he flipped the switch and it was hard, extreme, power, energy. And then he was back soft again. 
A lot of people, you know, they, they build up that energy and they get kind of angry or in a, in a zone where they look very hard and angry. And he did it for a moment, like the smallest moment. He had such control over his energy and such control over his body that he could key himself up just for that split second in time to conduct the break. And then bring himself right back down to calm, cool, and collected. And you don't see that a lot, and that stood out as well. And to see the things he did and to have the control over his body that he did, there has to be something else other than just good technique or, or external practice, if you will. There's something internal, almost spiritual about it. And his ability to channel his key, his key breaks are phenomenal. His breaking is incredible, um, and he really does do chi breaks far beyond most of the breakers in the world today. He, he forced you to expand your mind and to see things in a different light. And that's what creative breaking is all about, is performing in new ways and pushing the boundaries and the limits. Um, and I think that was probably his, his biggest attribute out of the whole thing. 39.27 though, short of Fred LaSala as we go now to Elton Trower out of Virginia. Wow. 51 years old. Knife hand strike through four two inch concrete blocks. You know, Mike, it's, it's just a pleasure to watch this man break every year. Every year he comes back, the, the intensity of this man is just incredible. Well, that was a, a ridge hand strike. It's the side of the hand by the thumb that came upwards through concrete blocks. Now, our second chin break of the day through three one inch boards. No first chi breaks right there again. Broke the bottom brick. The upper brick stayed intact. That is a, a car engine valve that he just punched through a, a one inch <laughs> what, uh, two by four, two by four <laughs> with, a, with a straight punch. Incredible. Thumb break. Going to break with his thumb through a one inch board. And again, known for all his chi breaks. Actually, these are two inch boards, I'm sorry. And they are more than twice as difficult to break as two one-inch boards. That is an incredible break there. Finger thrust, two boards, two one-inch boards. Standing on the bed of nails. A double index finger break while standing on nails. Yeah. Don't try this at home. This is one of his trademark uh, breaks or, or movements. It's less of a break than it is a demonstration of key power and focus. It's just amazing. Finger through the coat. You know, when you see somebody in uh, competition or on stage or in video, you only see a very small piece of that person. It's a it's like a snapshot of who that person is. I don't, I don't even know how to describe him. I don't really think there are words to describe him and the effect he had on people. He was one of the most genuine human beings a person could meet. He would give you the shirt off his back. Um, but don't let his gentle exterior fool you. I would not want to see the mean side focused on myself. You'll find that there are people in the martial arts that they don't demand great respect, but they get great respect just because of their character. Uh, Grandmaster Elton Trower had the type of character that he never demanded that respect. It was immediately earned by his actions. I want to make sure that everyone remembers him and what he offered us and to everybody. It's going to be up to us now to tell his stories, to pass on, you know, his feats and his spectacular things that he accomplished. Truly an amazing man. Truly an inspiration to others. He would just have this phenomenal knowledge that I just feel is, some of it is just lost forever. The martial art world lost truly one of the greatest ones to ever walk our path. We lost a, a grand figure that, you know, it's going to be very hard to, for anybody to live up to his uh, legend. Everything about him, he, he changed the world of breaking. 
He stands out amongst the greats. And uh, to not just be a martial artist, but live the martial way. That's never going to be the same again. And it's going to be up to us to make sure that they, that, that he's not forgotten, to make sure that his memory lives on. His body rests in the earth, but his spirit soars with the eagles. He was a great person, father, friend, mentor, and grandfather. And in my eyes, he'll always be the best martial artist that will ever live. Remember him for that and what he brought to the world around him and how he made it a better place. The Bible says whatever man thinks in his heart, so is he.